we made things. They came together in unanticipated of all juxtapositions. It worked as a result of the artistic parity, the shared experience, the trust. If one can, one forms alliances where there is reciprocation, but as it were, no accounts are kept. There is trust, no particular expectation, an unforced mutual interest and responsiveness. These relationships seem to be enduring. They are, of course, invaluable. I met Yuji Takahashi in Berlin and Paris through Xenakis. His mind has a disconcerting clarity and unconventionality. Karen signed one message to him, FFL. He asked what that meant. And she said, why, of course, it's friend for life. He would visit us in Del Mar each year. He would go on hours-long walks with our very young daughter. He would go to the UCSD library, find five scores of interest, learn them in a week, and perform an astounding concert. When Takahashi arrived in Paris to work with Xenakis, they did not immediately strike it off. But Yuji was able to show him that the absurdities generated by stochastic compositional procedures were, however improbably, Realizable after all, they formed an alliance. Yuji ratified the potential of Xenakis' dreams. Let's consider that subject for a moment in a more general way. When one feels a particular response to another with his or her way of thinking, of being, it can seem as though such resonance are meant to be, that they should inevitably entail the proximity that fuels them. One should nourish, submit, embrace, reward, friendship. Friends should be together. And I don't mean a chatty gliding across surfaces with dozens of those others. Substantive friendship requires focus, a reduced aperture. It entails temporal commitment, so often one doesn't engage fully with it. One lets the realities of the world, geographic and other, control events. How much is lost thus? 